Greetings, it's just me here attempting something new yet again. Not that it's getting really boring or tedious doing very in-depth lengthy reviews week in and week out that sometimes last seven to ten minutes and actually do have to do a lot of research and time doing and actually they're not very lazy at all now that I've come to notice. No, that's not getting boring or tedious at all. I just want to try something else. I just noticed that I have a lot of little games like on cassettes and floppy disks and such just laying around. Uh, I mean, freaking hundreds of them in here, and I don't know really how I would review them per se. I can't give 7 to 11 minutes of review time to Repton, for instance. Maybe I could, but I don't know what the point would be. It's not that they don't deserve it, it's just that there isn't a whole lot to say. There's a lot of these games that are very arcadey in nature compared to the games that I normally do, which may have arcade elements, but they're more, I don't know, a little bit deeper. So, I really think that these smaller games deserve a chance, and I really want to give them a little bit of time on my show without having to invest a whole lot of my time doing a review about them or something. So, this is not going to be a full set of reviews, just more impressions. What I think about it, whether or not it's worth trying, and just kind of to show it off. So, without further ado, here is the first video in this new unnamed series. Three minute game review of today is Repton by Superior Software. This comes from the UK and it works on the Acorn Electron, which is a sweet little computer that most Americans probably don't know too much about. I'll review it eventually. After four minutes and 20 seconds of loading time sitting on edge, hoping and praying that it doesn't screw up, the game finally loads and prompts you to press space. Do that and you get right into the game. Those of you who might be familiar with games from the 80s might also be very familiar with Boulder Dash. And that's the immediate impression that I get from this, just taking a look at it really quick. And the instructions seem to verify my suspicions. The object of Repton is to collect all of the diamonds on each screen, avoiding the falling rocks and lurking reptiles. I'm not really sure what you are supposed to be. I don't know if you're a reptile, if you're a guy. The loading screen seems to insinuate that you are a person. Although in the game you have a green head. So I really don't know what you are. But it's irrelevant. The whole point of it really is just to go around just like in Boulder Dash. And get the diamonds, all of them on the screen, without getting killed. And without locking yourself into a certain area. And that's very, very easy to do. One of the first things you'll get is a map. This is very helpful, especially on the later levels, which get extremely maze-like. And as levels go onward, I find myself referring to this map, studying it for a couple of minutes before I start doing anything. Because, as you can see, it is very easy to trap yourself. Now, thankfully, there is a suicide button. And you have four lives to start out with, so you can use those. Apparently, it is possible to get through all 12 screens without dying. It takes a lot of thinking, though. And really, it's even a challenge initially to get past the first level without dying or locking yourself into some random area that you don't mean to or even knocking a rock all the way down to the bottom and then trapping yourself from getting one of the diamonds. It's, it's a really mean game. You have to play through this crap over and over in order to get any sense of what you're doing. This only gets harder as the game goes on with the introduction of eggs. They kind of work like rocks do. They move them around and then they smash though, unlike rocks, and then eject a reptile, which will kill you on touch. They suck. I don't like them. Pretty much impossible to get around because they move much faster than you. The only other main part of the game is the addition of keys and safes. These little things here are safes, which will turn into diamonds once you find the key. Mostly this game is just a trial and error puzzle solving kind of thing. It will take you quite a while, even though there's only 12 levels, to get through this. And it gives you a little password at the end to go back to where you left off, so that's nice. But would I recommend it? Well, apparently it is a very well-respected game in the UK. But really it is just a lot like Boulder Dash, except harder and actually a little bit more evil. But if it looks interesting, you've played Boulder Dash before, or you have an Electron, whatever. It's a simple little game. It's fun to play, at least for a few minutes before you get totally pissed off at it, and then don't come back to it for weeks. 